Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to go out to Western New York for a quick hitter, give everybody an update on what's going on with all of that craziness, the federal racketeering trials, the mob, the bikers, the dead witnesses. Um, So round one appears to be over in the legal fight. First trial in um, this big, this big federal racketeering trial out of Buffalo that charged uh, the reputed mafia Don of Western New York, the Buffalo alleged, the leader of the Buffalo Magdalena crime family, Joe Pizza Tadaro, his nephew, Peter Gerace Jr., who owns a strip club, Pharaoh Strip Club, has been indicted uh, along with a DE agent, Joe Bon Giovanni, who we're going to get to in a second. Uh, on racketeering charges, Jerace Jr. charged with drug trafficking, sex trafficking, bribery, money laundering, and obstruction of justice tied to a dead witness. Joe Bongiovanni got his trial separated from Jerace Jr. He is the former DEA agent that's accused of taking bribes, taking over a quarter million dollars to protect mafia-backed drug operations in Buffalo. He went to trial a six-week trial in the late winter, early spring of 2024. And he was convicted on uh, obstruction and lying to federal investigators, which are kind of minor charges compared to what he was, you know, the meat of the indictment against him. Uh, had nothing to do with uh, participating in, in drug trafficking or sex trafficking, but protecting them. And there's no connection right now or at all, I believe, from Bon Giovanni to the dead witness, Crystal Quinn. Um, but the federal government believes that he was taking a lot of money. He was on a retainer, according to them, about five, six thousand dollars a month from the Magadino crime family to you know shield them from scrutiny, feed them information, documents, and whatnot. He was convicted of having a file that he took home with him from the DA when he retired in 2016, which was a file into a mafia connected drug operation. And he lied uh, when he was uh, in that, the, when he was interviewed. Uh, but he was acquitted in this first trial of taking bribes. Uh, I, I want to back up, was not acquitted. The jury hung on him taking bribes. So they're going to retry him, but let's just look at it for a second in terms of what the feds were or weren't able to prove. Um, They were able to bring up a number of witnesses that gave firsthand accounts of giving envelopes that they presumed were filled with cash to Bon Giovanni. That's undisputed, but what were in those envelopes. None of these couriers of these alleged bribes could say that they were present when the cash was put into the envelope. They never actually saw cash. They believe that there was cash in the envelopes and they gave the envelopes to Bon Giovanni for what they thought was a bribe, but they don't, they can't say for sure. Um, And furthermore, when you, have an opening argument and you, and you say you're going to prove that you're the person that's on trial took bribes. You can't then at the end during the closing argument say, well, we didn't prove that he took bribes, but it doesn't matter if he took bribes. Uh, he was compromised anyways, which is what the argument was. They try to get technical and, and into some legal ease where as long as there was a benefit from the protection money didn't have to exchange hands but the jury did not uh go with that unanimously they hung he will be retried Jeracy jr is going to be on trial come june we still don't know uh how the crystal quinn homicide is going to play out other than these obstruction charges related to her death that's ensnared a half dozen or so people including Jerace jr and the outlaws motorcycle boss tommy O. but Right now, I would say if we were going to, you know, score it like a boxing match, this first round goes to, you know, Bon Giovanni, Gerace Jr. and company. Um, Right now, 
uh, uh, Bon Giovanni would be looking at maybe a year, year and a half in a camp. Um, and then he'd be free of all this. They're going to recharge him and then they got to go back to the drawing board. Obviously not having Crystal Quinn uh, available to take the stand benefits Bon Giovanni. However, that played out, no matter what side you believe, um, the feds, federal prosecutors believe she was killed to keep her off the stand. Um, but we'll, we'll keep tabs on it. Bon Giovanni uh, walks on the most, you know, damaging charges, hung jury, but federal prosecutors now are pledging to go back to trial soon, maybe before Jerace Jr. in June. I guess not, but probably before uh, the end of the year. So we'll we'll keep updating it, keep giving you all the latest and breaking news from Western New York and uh, this incredibly fascinating, riveting soap opera uh, of Magadino crime family, strip clubs, drug dealers, um, biker bosses, dead witnesses, judges that allegedly commit suicide that are unindicted co-conspirators in the case, and so forth. Uh, for OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein. Out.